people, it's me, King Human. Listen up. Brains. Brains! Listen up. Okay, before I even get started here and tell you guys how to make dough online or whatever it is you come to see, I'm going to have to torture you a little bit and talk about some other things. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about the, the lack of common sense we got going on. I mean, I don't know what's going on in this world anymore. People just don't think. They're not thinking. I don't get it. They've switched off their brain and they walk around like idiotic zombies. So what, what can I do about it? I don't know. Um, I, you know, in the previous video, I think I, I tried to wake some people up about the stupid bowl and what a scam it is. And, and if you're a, a fan, if you're a fanatic, I want you to go look up that word because and wear it because that's how stupid you are. You're an idiot. And I had a bunch of people telling me, oh, well, King Human, it's just a game. And it, if you thought I was talking about a game, you missed the whole point. So I can't even get into that right now. The other thing that's driving me crazy right now, and I need to make a whole video about it, are these idiots that refuse to vaccinate their kids. So now there's a huge outbreak of measles and whatever going on. And what really pisses me off is the government not stepping up and saying, look, this is a mandate. You have to do it for the public safety. And we got a bunch of hippie idiots running around. Oh, you can't vaccinate my kid. Oh, I got to really get into this in a whole nother video because it shows the self-centered stupidity of people and how they don't give one-fifth of a half-eaten sh** out of anybody but themselves, not even their own little kids. Uh, we're going to subject them to, 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 you know, disease, airborne viral diseases, because we know best. We're, we're freaking hippies, and we know best. Uh, don't, don't get me started. Okay, I'm going to have a thrombo. I know it. And... Uh, Anyway, okay, so let's get to the subject at hand because I know I'm already driving people crazy. Too bad you watch this video. You watch it and you can't unwatch it, so shut up. All right. <laughs> All right, what's doing? Um, the top 25 jobs of 2015. Job. Remember, these are jobs. J-O-B, which means just over broke. And these are the top 25 that are suggested to you. Um, so I'm going to give you a list. I'm also going to put a link to that article down there so you guys can go read what the top 25 J-O-Bs are and see how much they pay and how hard it is to get certified in whatever they are. And then I want you guys to think about some things. Okay. Uh, Rodney, give me the list. Rodney. Rodney, wake up. Give me the list. Give me the freaking list. I don't know if he's dead, if he's asleep. I don't know what's going on with that guy. Uh, I give up. Okay, just whatever. Okay. Here, I'm going to read you the top five from the top 25, and if you want the rest of them, you can go click that link, that article, whatever it was, and go read them for yourself. Uh, now, they ranked these not in order of what they pay, but they had their own little index, you know, how many openings were available in the field, how hard it was to get trained, how much it paid, I don't know, they, they indexed it their way, what do I know, leave me alone. Okay, number one, physician's assistant pays $111,000 a year. Software engineer, $98,000 a year. Business development manager, whatever that is, pays $94,000 a year. Human resources manager pays $96,000 a year. Now, these are average payouts, you know. Don't hock me a cup about it. Uh, finance manager, $122,000 a year. Now, those are the top five, according to this idiotic article. 
And I look at these payouts and I'm thinking, oh my God. Okay, from my perspective, that's chump change. Now, I, I think about all the time I would spend getting a degree so that I could be a physician's assistant. And I'm only going to make a hundred and, what was it, $111,000 a year. Here I am, an idiot truck driver, dropped out of college. I was I was going to be an attorney. It's a long story. I, I, I couldn't do it. It's a long, digressive story. I got into driving a truck, of all things, and that's another long story. And burned myself out. I did it so much. My hair fell out. I, I got, I, I went mental. And then I got into online marketing through a weird thing. And I guess the bottom line I'm getting at here is there's big money to be made out there if you use your cabeza. You know, I mean, yeah, go out, get one of these jobs. Get one of these jobs that, that's in this article here and have that as your steady eddy. But don't stop looking there because, you know, just because... You think that's a good job at $100,000 a year. Don't stop trying to improve yourself because, again, not to say that I'm great and all this stuff, but I work a fraction of what these guys do, and I make a hell of a lot more. And it's all due to the Internet. Uh, I thank the Internet. I thank, I mean, you got to remember, I come from a time when the internet didn't exist. And this thing came into my house, the internet, and it opened up a world for me. So not having it and seeing the difference between not having it and having it gave me an appreciation for what it is. You, you young punk idiots who were raised on the internet, you don't understand. I mean, you take it for granted because it's always been there. And I know you guys take it for granted because I get questions all the time from idiots that are sitting in front of a computer with a search engine and they ask me questions that could easily be answered with a simple Google search. And they're too jaded, they're too, they're too idiotic to do their own Google search. I mean, how... Uh, uh, it, it, Remember, this all gets back to common sense now. So anyway, what can I tell you? You know, common sense isn't common anymore, but there are opportunities out there for people that are willing to extend themselves, to think, to do. Uh, there, you know, I, I will say this. I know what worked for me. That's all I can say. That's all I can talk about is what worked for me. If you can relate to my story, then that's great. But, you know, I, I, I don't make any guarantees. I don't say, hey, go be a physician's assistant and you're going to be happy for the rest of your life. How do I know what the, you know, what a, but I will tell you this. Again, I make a lot more money than a lot of these jobs put together. I work very few hours. Uh, and I take two vacations a month. I work when I want. I don't work when I want. I, 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 I don't own an alarm clock. I don't get up. I get up when I have to go take a pish. That's what wakes me up. Not an alarm clock. Not some boss telling me I have to get up. And sometimes I go shake the weasel, and I come back, and I'll go right back to sleep for another few hours. It's my life. I do what I want. That's the important thing. I remember the days when I used to have to get up in the crack of ass and I mean it's dark outside and dismal and miserable and I have to go to work. Oh God, that was horrible. That was hor That was torture to me. So I didn't do much of that 9 to 5 stuff. So anyway, um, another point I want to say is for me digital marketing and, and making money online really worked out. So I get a lot of people saying, well, you know, King Human educated. Well, that's why I made the website, the kinghumanelite.com. I know a lot of people tried to get in and couldn't because membership was full, 
but I just went in and cleaned up the membership roles because there were a lot of people that were slow payers, no payers, and just people that pissed me off. So I kicked a bunch of people out. I know I've got at least, I think at least 30 openings right now as of this date. That means you got to look at when this video was posted. Because if you come to this video, you know, three weeks from now and say, Oh, King Human, you said you had opening. Again, common sense. Just because you're looking at a video right now doesn't mean the video was put up right now. And again, if you want to learn how to make money online, rush. Don't walk, run. Because again, I'm not guaranteeing there's going to be an opening. TheKingHumanElite.com, go sign up. I teach you what I know. Not just from me, but I have other top-level internet marketing guys teaching courses. Uh, maybe it's for you, maybe it's not. I don't know. Because I don't know you personally. You got that? I don't make guarantees. Because I don't know you on a personal level. I don't know you from a can of paint. So I don't know what you bring to the table. That's why I don't guarantee, hey, come to my website and you'll learn how to make a gazillion dollars. This is an educational website. You have to bring certain skill sets to the table. You have to bring a self-starter attitude. You have to go through the classes and you have to never give up. And you have to test, test, test. There's no guarantees. Yes, I got people making good money from the stuff that I taught them. But not everybody does. Everybody's on a different time frame. Maybe I've, ha I've had people that were successful right off the bat. And then I've, had, I've, I've got people that it's going to take them a couple of years. You got to think of it like college or any other educational institution. <coughs> there it is. You know, it's an ongoing process. What you get out of it depends a lot on you. So this is what I'm going to do for a very short time. I think for the next week only, I'm going to give a money back guarantee to those 30 slots. 30 people sign up. Go in there, look around, take the courses. If within 30 days you figure out that this is not for you, it's not going to help you, whatever, you send me an email. The email address is on the website. Send me an email saying, refund please, whatever. No problem. Refund within 30 days. After 30 days, don't hawk me a cup. It's your problem. Because of the way PayPal is set up. I can't deal with it. So leave me alone. Why am I doing this? Well, because I want to help people. I mean, nothing is better for me than when I get these emails from people and there's like a, a single mom, King Human. We were about to get thrown out. I didn't know what I was going to do. And now I'm stable because of that course you taught on blah, 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 whatever it is. I implemented it and now me and my daughter have a place to live. And we are stable and we're making money every week. That's what I live for. I was brought up um, that wherever you go, leave the place better than you found it. You know, you go camping, you don't just pack your trash out when you leave. You pack the other guy's trash out when you leave. Because he was a self-centered idiot that left garbage around. You don't just pick up your stuff and say, well, uh, I did my job and leave. No. Hey, this guy was an idiot. I'm going to make this place better than it was when I arrived. And that's the way I think of coming to this planet. I came from the planet uh, Magrathea. I came down here. I got to go back soon. So I want to leave this planet a little better place than I found it when I go back to my home planet. Shut up. Don't bother me. Okay, that's it. You got a small window, kinghumanelite.com. Go check it out. Oh, before I go, one more thing I want to mention before my voice goes completely out. The ASD trade show is coming up in Vegas, March 1st through the 4th. 
The ASD Trade Show is a place where all of these wholesalers have booths and you can go look at their merchandise, see what they got to, to sell. You can buy it wholesale and sell it retail. Now, this trade show is opportunity wherever you go. Let me give you one instance of what I used to do when I went to this trade show. I would go and I would find the most popular products at this wholesale trade show. It wasn't hard to do. You just walk. I mean, first of all, the thing is huge. It's massive huge. So if you go to it, wear comfortable shoes. And if you want to go to it, search ASD Trade Show and register. Don't hawk me. Don't send me emails. King Human, how do I get there? Where, what plane do I take? What? Oh, God. Figure shit out for yourself. So I would go to the trade show and I would look for the most popular products or products that had a cool little hook to them. And I would make retail websites of these products. I would mix, you know, get products from that guy, that guy, that guy. It could be anything, but if it was cool stuff, I would make a website of it. I would put pictures of all of the products on the website with retail prices, knowing that the source is giving it to you for half of that price, at least half of that price. Then what I would do with these websites is I would sell them as turnkey businesses. I never bought a product. I wouldn't buy those products. I put, it, put together a retail store of interesting products that I found at this trade show, and I flipped those websites. Here's an example. Maybe I know I've talked about this in the past. Maybe some of you guys have heard it. But I know a lot of you people don't go back and look at my old videos. Again, no common sense. So I would find, here's an example. I found a, a guy that sold Hawaiian souvenir products like ukuleles and hula dresses and little dashboard hula dolls and all that kind of Hawaiian crap. I'm, I used to make these Hawaiian websites of Hawaiian products based on this on this Hawaiian souvenir crap and they would sell like hell because I had a unique selling position for those websites I said look anybody that buys this website gets free trips to Hawaii because the parent company the wholesale supplier is in Hawaii so if you go there to buy products or write an order it's a write-off on your taxes of course, consult your CPA about it, but, you know, that's the way it is. And I sold tons of those websites. It, took, it would take me about an hour to make these websites. And, well, here, here's the example. When I first started making websites, I made, the first website I made was a Halloween website. Website of Halloween goods. Took me two hours to make that website. I sold it for 800 bucks. That's $400 an hour I was making from day one, minute one, and it only got better from there. But that's because I got brains, and I used my marketing skills to bring to that particular niche of making websites and flipping them. Again, I'm not saying you can make that kind of money, but there's opportunity there. So go to this trade show if you can, Look for opportunities. There's a million different things to do. There's a million. You could just buy products wholesale if you find good products and sell them retail on eBay. I mean, it depends. You really have to use your cabeza, people. That's it. That's what I got to say. Okay, I got to go. This is a huge, long video. All right, people, go away. You annoy me unless you're a thinking person. And uh, I can't take these annoying things. So donate a few bucks to help us a kid. St. Jude's Research Hospital for Kids helps sick kids. I want to thank everybody that sent me an email in the past couple of months saying, Hey, King Human, I donated to help a sick kid because you helped me make some dough. Maximum respect. I see you guys, and I do appreciate it. I know those kids appreciate it. It makes me think like I'm doing something worthwhile because 
you know, not only am I helping somebody make a few bucks here and there that normally wouldn't have, but then they turn around and donate a few bucks to help us a kid that maybe they wouldn't have done ordinarily. That gives me so much satisfaction, makes me think like I'm accomplishing something. So I appreciate it when you guys send me those emails. All right, people, maximum respect, buy an ARA, and uh, vaccinate your kids because you're going to make me mental.